Canada demands you eat here. Yes. Um, Canadian Food Channel, which is like the American Food Channel, but with 10% um, Canadian content. Oh, okay. So, like, a little bit of a... Uh, instead of using, like, old Milwaukee for, for the brats, you got to use, uh, you know, Molson, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. There's a lot of peanut butter on uh, cheeseburgers in Canada. <clears throat> huh. You know what the thing was in uh, in Japan was um, was egg and like uh, teriyaki sauce, mm -hmm. which I guess you know that's you you can get you can get teriyaki hamburger I guess here and you can get egg like hamburgers with eggs on them here, mm -hmm. but not normally but, together. Well, not normally together, and it wasn't like kind of assumed that if you went into a restaurant that would be an option the same way that like cheese would yeah do you know what's weird is the peanut butter on a burger thing yeah it's happened a lot weird. right it's kind of weird but it's happened a lot and it kind of makes sense because like there's a lot of savory dishes that include peanuts right yeah and a lot of people like their sweet and savory mix yeah um, but less about that but this one place in town here prince l's diner yeah. they've been doing it it's called the wall they called it the wally burger and they've been doing it since i was like a little kid like yeah. back when I was like ten, they were doing it, and that diner's been there for like, it's like, an old school diner, but it's like, it's always been an old school diner sort of thing. I don't know. Do it might have, it might have happened in the eighties. They might have made a fifties diner in the eighties, which was a thing like in. Uh, yeah, they had an eighties revival in the fifties, or I mean, they had a fifties <laughs> revival in the eighties. <laughs> the retro futuristic <laughs> revival of the eighties and the fifties. Oh, but uh, was it a? Uh... Actually, just just in case you were going to try and catch me in getting into a casual conversation when we open, I do have to go change my laundry. Oh, in that case, I'm going to go back to where I was and push the serpent again. <laughs> oh, how how much had you gotten there? Uh, I've been recording for two minutes. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> well, that's all right. You can continue to do that and just like pause here again. Yeah. You can pretend to uh, surprise me in a minute. Yep. They're like, oh, hey, folks. Whoa, I'm back from laundry. <laughs> yeah, all right. Hang on. Okay. They don't know how long it takes me. Yep. Well, no. See, the nice thing about uh, Koe as a fluid is that uh, you can put fish in it and have a Koe pond. Ah. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. <laughs> and next on Dr. Funenstein's palace of whatever it was. <laughs> so, we're back. What? Thing? Oh, you didn't know the the folks were here this whole time? I I mean, I went to get laundry. I figured they'd left. No, no, they they stuck around. They've been hanging out with me. You would be surprised at how quickly I can get drying out and folded and put back, folks. I bet that seemed like no time at all. Yeah. So. <laughs> Our plan was to continue on our way around uh, South America. <laughs> I believe we've determined that we're going to continue to try to do this. So we can sail. So if we don't bother getting any more crew, we can sail for 73 days. I you know we're going to encounter another animal or something. Well, I don't know if we... Well, we might like an emu or something. Maybe we'll... Uh, Find a couple of drinks at the bar and just be like, oh, no, it's too early. I mean, you know you can fix that. Mm, this... This He's not taking any time at all in that building. I'm going to walk out of a different building. This entrance is too, uh, too straightforward. It's only taking me half an hour. I'll go to the inn. It takes an hour and a half to walk in and out of that building. <laughs> oh, man, the lobby is so extensive. <laughs> Ah, right, good. 10 a.m. It's noon somewhere. <laughs> hey, sailor, you'll like our mate. Sounds you pretty neat. You want to join us? <laughs> oh, what a treat. <laughs> Mates for everyone. <laughs> what? Did you know the governor general of Italy is looking for you? Did you know that we don't care about that guy? <laughs> oh, snap. <laughs> I did believe, I do believe I read in a fact someplace that, like, if you actually want to, um, like, 
play the game through to victory in fast mode. You basically just need to start ignoring the Governor General of Italy as soon as yeah. possible. But we, we need the money from our discoveries rather than giving them to him. We kind of learned that lesson the hard way. Yeah. We well, hey, there's that the hard B, way. There's also... Um, the, the, on, the, on the flip side of that coin, I don't know about this game, but uh, as we learned in... Um, in Otto Baines's story, mm -hmm. it's getting super high ranks that gives you like touching moment cinematics with your, you know, plot mates. That's true. Of course, our plot mate, who is the guy I voice, I've already forgotten his name. I think he's called Pietro's buddy. Pietro B. Commodore, our crew has paid 20 gold pieces in wages. Oh. <laughs> Commodore, we found Rio, and she dances by the sand, just like that river rolling oh, through the dusty land. Well, we knew we were going to do that. I know. Maybe we'll find a great Ulk down here or something. Maybe we'll find the great Ulklands. I don't remember where that actually is. I guess the great Foot Ulklands. Hey, Monte, Monte Video. Video. That's where I used to, to rent videos all the time when I was a kid. Wow, what a difference, Monte Video. <laughs> hmm? I believe this is just yes, a place for villages. <laughs> oh, we didn't find anything. It could be dangerous. <laughs> it could be dangerous entertaining these people. They might be a tough crowd. I do wish that it would give you the option to entertain them more than one food at a time. Like, how big of a feast would you like to put on? And then if you put in, like, three food worth of feast, it's like, oh, it went up by 15! Hmm. And then it, may, it would make it more of a risk, too, because you'd be like, do you want to min-max it, or do you want to just get it done fast? Yeah. Oh, Toucan Sam to this one. Yeah. You kept entertaining them with uh, fruit-flavored cereal, and eventually he showed up. I don't think you're going to be able to get anything else up there. No, I just... You never know you when that's going to tick you just an extra square on the map. Oh, I suppose that's true. Oh, this river's bigger than I thought. That's what she said. Is that she, what kids of course, are calling talks about rivers these days. She runs like a river. Runs Our frame, fame of, of an adventurer has gone up. There you go. Our fame of a sailor. You're the fame of a fame of a sailor. And the son of a son of a... The venture. Now you're messing with... A son of a bitch! I didn't find... Oh, speaking of video rentals. Oh, that's nostalgic. I remember for, like, my fifth or sixth birthday or something like that, we, uh... We got to rent a video, and... This was around the time when it was still novel, and we got to rent space balls. Nice. And I'm now That's thinking totally of the totally appropriate sequence. for a five-year-old. Well, <laughs> it was good. I enjoyed it. And yeah, no, do you know what? You don't get the, you don't get a lot of the references when you're younger, right? So everyone gets to enjoy the movie. Yeah. But like, we're definitely like I remember now because we didn't find anything. We didn't find anything. We didn't find anything. I'm thinking of the combing the desert sequence. Oh man, this is really gonna be a big one. It's probably gonna kill like half our crew. With the third guy, it's gonna give you a little fanfare, that's for sure. Either that, or this is that one town where there's nothing. You get your friendship up to hundred, and then you search, and it's like we found a new friend. Da, 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 da. <laughs> and then you take him to Europe and sell him to somebody. Oh, that's how things were back then, man. Too soon, surf. <laughs> Oh no! It, the, the fanfare music was. Burr, 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 burr. Oh, it's low brass fanfare. No, oh, giant ground sloth. Five men died before they could get away from it. <laughs> Run! It's the sloth! It's, oh, he's it's gaining slowly on us! devouring John. Everyone trying to get away. No, how did they get Jim too? <laughs> oh, so your guys are all just J dudes. Yeah. There's also Jack and. Rumor has it this 20 foot creature. Walks upright and feeds on the leaves, on leaves and branches, and humans. Apparently so. Either that, or it just accidentally 
crushed your crew members as it was walking around. All right, I think we might be able to get back to town without pillaging yeah. that village. Yeah, you'll be fine. Remember, you you have like 34 days of food, right? Check it. Yeah, but I also only have two... Go uh, up that last branch. Go on. Oh, you only have two food left. All right. Yeah. One food. Oh, because you had to entertain so dang so much. much. I forgot. Good thing it goes up yeah, by five guys... points at a time. Oh, we yeah, just you guys it. are gonna be, you guys are gonna be a little hungry. I don't know arrive. if they even That's will fine. because they didn't even tell us we ran out of food. I gotta be like, hey, can you can can you kids can you kids keep it cool till we get to Montevideo? There's a Dairy Queen there. <laughs> you guys get flamethrower burgers and brownie batter blizzards. I've heard that if they don't. Um... I didn't totally have that same meal during my vacation or anything. <laughs> I've heard that if they don't turn the blizzard upside down before they give it to you, that you can get the blizzard for free. But then you have to be that jerk that's complaining about a $3 blizzard. And, and the jerk is like, like hey, you didn't hold it upside down. Yeah. It'd be like the jerk that's like, hey, you didn't sing a little jingle when I put a tip in your jar. Give me the tip back. <laughs> give me that tip back. I give and you one of the others. Cents and I, I, wanna, I want you to earn it. Oh, no. Um... Oh, do you know what? Actually, how do I have my lookout set up here? No, we still got three people going. If there was a village there, we would have seen it. Yeah. You've been all right. We're still moving out of an OK clip directly into the wind. Actually, we'll we do better directly into the wind than... Oh, no, it's because the wind dropped it, too. Running against the wind. Still running. Against the wind. Oh, jeez, you really are. There we go. Ah, there we go. It's time to start tearing across the uh, hither and yon. So, we shouldn't <laughs> be too far from the bottom now, I would imagine. Now you can check the map if you're at all curious. Every time I go to check the map, I hit the... Uh... Yeah, we're getting pretty close. Ooh. I hit the vibration button on this controller and it jiggles. Thanks. <laughs> You really hate that controller. <laughs> well, I don't know why they put the more used button further away. Maybe you're supposed to just have gig gigantuan hands. <laughs> Do you not have gigantuan hands? No. Were you a premature baby? <laughs> My hands never grew. <laughs> the rest of your fat body. Oh, uh, I've been watching. Oh, hey, this is the secret. Oh, no, this is not the secret way through. They just made a lot of ice down here. Yeah, no, this is... Oh gosh, the wind's dying down. That happens here all the time. Oh, we don't have sail. We don't have, uh... You don't have oars. Yeah. Well, that's how they get you. I mean, come on, the, the, the drifting is supposed to be going in this direction a little bit. Luckily, we can spend another 30 days at <laughs> sea, so it's bound to come back. Commodore, we learned so much by just floating around here. Although we floated, uh, we, we, we we just happened to coast along the water a little bit too slightly far on this river and crossed over to the Canadian side and our fishing um, <laughs> oh, our fishing quota was over. Yeah. yeah. I recently got my uh, fishing license because I went uh, fishing with some people from work. Yeah. And, How uh, was it? Pardon? Fun fact, Bobo has, how was it? Fun fact, Bobo's never fished. Ever? No. It's Not never even come like, up. A, like a hook off the end. The wind has started to pick up. Commodore, the wind. It's so awesome. Yeah, no, it's, you know. It's, I but, guess uh, when I was much younger, we lived in the Midwest, and there weren't necessarily tons of fishing opportunities. And then as I got older, uh, you know, it just didn't come up. <laughs> hey, there's that great elk I've been talking about. Oh, this is just a Leon this penguin. Is Leon. Uh, this is Leon the, hey, I'm Leon the penguin. Or rather, I'm Leon the penguin. Um, no, we well, we used to have a cottage when I was a kid, so I guess kind of made sense that we did fishing. But you had to catch a fish with a stick and a piece of line and a hook before they bought you a fishing rod. It was like a rite of passage. Oh, that's pretty cool, in a way. Although it does mean that, like in theory. 
the biggest challenge of fishing is done in the uh, very very start. Well, there were sunfish that lived under the dock, so it really wasn't that hard to do. But it seemed like it was more like proving that you had the patience to stand there and to sit hook and a fish, wait for something to come along. Yeah. Did you at least get a worm, or was it just like? Yeah, no, no, you got a worm. It wasn't just like you had to entice them onto a hook that like they couldn't even <laughs> see underwater. It's like no, you just got a string and a stick, and you had to sort of like sort of spin the string around, hoping that it would tangle up a fish. Yeah, and then you had to pull it out fast enough the fish would be spinning in the air and grab it without cutting yourself on the on the fins. Yes. And now Razor we're getting pretty close to land that might look like it's related to where we want to. Yeah. Want to be. Although not that way. No. And we do need um let's try to make sure we don't miss a village here. Yeah. We wanna also you know, wanna make sure that we're looking at the uh Yeah, we should we should have looked at that map since the last video. Let's give it a, a Might be right take. around. Oh no, that's where the port of Valparaiso is. Yeah, we need the trees to change one more time too. Oh you're right, we need skinny trees. Like skinny jeans. Yes. These trees need to hit the gym. Friggin' fat baby trees. <laughs> fat saplings. I don't remember how we got on this kick either, folks. And it was more recently <laughs> for me than it will have been for you, because Zerf is probably going to put a couple of days in between these video releases. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm actually, to date this video for people that know more about me, I'm gone to the cottage next week. Oh, nice. So, well, so when you say cottage, cottage, you're, you're essentially... Cottage. You're, you're essentially talking the same way as I was about my vacation recently where we went to the cabin. Yes. Oh, this is oh, the this place. might be it. This is it. Stop. I think you're 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 I'm leaned to... up against it right now. I'm trying to stop here. Let's let's try without looking at the map actually, see if we can just weigh anchor and search and be like Boom! We are <laughs> we good. We discovered the gold medallion. <laughs> Well, and a clear it's, spring. <laughs> it was gumming up a spring of water. It's like the N64 kid. He's like, a gold medallion and a clear spring. Merry Christmas, <laughs> kid. I don't think I know the N64 kid. Oh, it's this kid that got an N64 for uh, Christmas, and he's so excited about the N64. He's running his hands all over the box and everything. Yeah. And then uh, he, and he goes, a Nintendo 64. Ah. And then they're like, there's more presents too. And he opens up the next present and, he, and it's a remote control car. And he's like, the parents are like, oh, what'd you get? We got an N64 and a remote control car. <laughs> it's like, he doesn't even care. But remote control cars are amazing. It sounds like he didn't even know what it was. And a remote control car? <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy. At least they we're right next us. to a town. Whoops. Well, yeah, but it's not a town where you can get people. No, but it is a town where we can get uh, food from. Yeah, food. Entertainment from... losses. Now I suppose we should just go back around the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. Are you feeling daring and want to attempt to sail across the northern rim of Eurasia? Oh, ooh, I don't know. The Northwest Passage of the Canadian area is probably less dangerous than. The ocean, uh, than than the Eurasia ocean one. Storms. Yeah, I mean the I mean the only problem you really run into up there is that there aren't a lot of ports and the wind can die. Oh, it's not as bad as the South Pole, but oh, three men want to stay in the here? ruins. Hey, there's some ruins here. I'm gonna live here forever. There's no food. <laughs> you want me? Yeah, we are gonna live here forever because this is a final resting place. <laughs> All right, let's uh. Go back to town here and get some. <laughs> Let's go back to town and get some. I know that it says there's no hotel, but that's just there's no above the board hotel. <laughs> yeah. If you got if you got the money and the discoveries required, you can get any. <laughs> and the discoveries you can find, you can discover all kinds of new things. You just have to entertain the locals for long enough, <laughs> you'll find yourself a underground hotel. You entertain the locals long enough, the locals will start to entertain you, if you know what I'm saying. Well, if we can sail for 72 days, I wonder if we could go across the top. I'm gonna... You wanna save? Yeah, I'm gonna throw a save down here. Whoops, that's not select, that's... Mode. mode. <laughs> yep. 
Now we're not sailing near as fast as we were, but oh no, we're not. we should be hitting 18 around that. But I think we're doing okay for going up the coast. Well, if we can find another city, we could uh, we could think about getting more crew. But yeah. if you want to go a super econo run, this might be the way to do it. Well, I think you need the super econo run to go across the north because there's literally. Nowhere There's only like two or three ports, maybe. Yeah. I mean, any port in a storm, but. Mmm, delicious port. Panama. Can you, can you just leave crew in the middle of the ocean? <laughs> <laughs> I know this sounds horrible. Oh wait it a is. second. Oh what? hey, we're getting now that we're at a real port. Who was that outside? Oh, that so was. You... Uh... Uh, I believe that's the Ottoman Empire. We are at odds with them. Say, Pietro, could I take a look at the gold medallion? Here you go, pal. Check out the detail of the artwork. Pretty amazing, eh? Eh? There's a mountain of gold just like this medallion in El Dorado. Come on, Pietro, what do you say? Let's go search for El Dorado. You bet, Camillo. I'm sure we'll find it. The search for the legendary city of gold. Now this is an adventure. Children of the sun. Apparently, we got to look for El Dorado now. Yeah, we're on the road to El Dorado. With um, jeez, who was it in that? Uh, I was gonna bother me. I I know the names of both of the actors. Was it Kevin Klein and um? Damn it, the guy who does all the Shakespeare stuff now. Now you're thinking of Calvin Klein and Versace. <laughs> the two famous actors from France. I'm not thinking of Calvin Klein or Versace. <laughs> uh... well, I think he also played here. Gilderoy Lockhart in uh, the Harry Potter movies. Uh, Gilbert Godfrey. Kenneth Branagh. That's it. Wasn't it them? Eh. Ah. Someone will correct me in the comments if anyone cares, which is maybe a 50-50 shot. Yep. <laughs> Anybody remember the road to El Dorado? Do you know what? I never actually saw that, that uh, uh, movie. Was not by Disney, so did have marketing or staying power in the same realm, or you know, a blitz worth of tchotchkes for kids. Do you know what? Realistically. If these are places that barely anybody goes to, it should take less entertaining to uh, find stuff because no one's... They're there should like, be all kinds of things that nobody's ever seen before here. It's like, wow, you have a whole different species of dried fish with you than we've ever eaten. Uh-oh, this is going to be a big one. It's going to be a Whopper. Yeah, this town's got the big one. Oh, hey, Whoppers. We're back to Burger King. Oh, it's good fanfare, not bad fanfare. A cultural artifact. The Popol Vuh. The manuscript of Mayan legends. We'll take that, thanks. Yoink. I don't know if you actually take it or if you just like write down notes about it and then tell people. In which you case, do... the game should have like somebody that's good at lying and you're just like, oh yeah, we found this. Uh... And it's all the legends that like turn out not to be true, like the Sam Squanch. Sam Squanch. <laughs> yep. It's the good Sam Squanch, sir. Ricky. Tell me of the Sam Squanch. Uh, there's a show up here called uh, Trailer Park Boys. Oh, I've, I've seen it on... It's on Netflix. I've not seen it, but I've seen that it is on Netflix. Uh, well, that one was a, easy. A, oh, a stone face. It's a face made out of stone. But then they describe it as a bust. Um, I know. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a show that's... Uh, it gained quite a bit of popularity up here, and it... Uh, I mean, it's pretty funny of a show if you're into the sort of humor it has, which can be pretty crude sometimes, but um, the one thing is the one guy Bubbles uh, calls the Sasquatch the Sam Squanch, and he's Sam worried Squanch. that it's coming to steal something, probably his weed. Oh, we're already up to, uh, we're already up to Baja. Yeah. Santa Barbara. Baba Barbara, Santa Barbara. For the new YouTube fans. I'm always amazed at how creepy these ports sound with this music. Oh yeah, the like 
I know the music, but I'm not going to try and sing it now because I'll be off of wherever it actually is playing. And It'd then... be amazing if you actually hit it bang on, though. Well, you're gone now already. But... <laughs> it was almost lined up and then just barely off. Ah. <sighs> But yeah, no, there are certain like things and instrumentation that the Super Nintendo could do pretty well. It did the piano, like the tinkle, like the gentle piano sound pretty well. It did like sort of muted trumpets pretty well. Mm -hmm. I remember that was used to great effect in F Zero. Um, yeah, here we go. Let's. <laughs> I was about to say, I think that's what you're looking for. <laughs> yep. Oh, I didn't find anything. It'd be great if, in real life, you could actually see friendship levels as easily as this guy does when you entertain people at a village. You know, you every tell time how people were being. <laughs> every time we sit down and do a video, or if I really feel as though I can really feel our friendship level increase. Yes. Uh, let's check out this exotic animal. It's called a prairie dog. It's a squirrel. Hey, have mammal. you ever seen prairie dogs? Those things are exotic and adorable. I, you know, I don't know if I've actually ever seen one in person. They look a lot like meerkats. Yeah. I have seen some yelling Steve on a video once. Steve! Steve! And Alan. And Alan. Alan. We, we got a guy at work named Alan, so it's, it's pretty Every funny. Every time you need him for anything. Alan! Alan! Ow! Ow! And then ow, you're concerned ow. that it might be Steve instead. And yeah. Oh, you're sailing around. Vancouver Island? Is it that far north? Yeah, I think you may be. You should press pause. I think you're sailing around Nintendo. Well, you're oh, sailing around Nintendo of America. That's not the right one. What am I doing? I think it's whatever start is for you. I don't know no, what I your start is. No, I press select and then I try to unselect. So yep. we never discovered the Gulf of Mexico, but nobody... Yeah. Nobody I mean, about that. maybe when you come back looking for El Dorado, because it's going to be in the Americas somewhere... You might, like, notch around there if you felt like you needed more Explorer fame. Yeah. But yeah, true. you're already up here with Vancouver and Nintendo of America and Seattle and Redmond and the Mariners and the all that stuff. Oh, man, if we get up here a little bit further, I can probably see Russia from our front lawn. We can see Russia from our house. That was the thing that I was telling people, and I was like, oh yeah, we got up to this cabin on uh, Lake of the Woods, and I could see Canada from my house. Because <laughs> sure enough, you could see, you could just barely make out the other shore on the horizon, because it's still pretty, it's not one of the Great Lakes, but it's still a decent sized lake. It's, it's not a Great Lake, but it's one of those pretty good lakes. It's a good lake. That's a good lake. Um, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> Oh yeah, you're. Uh, what, are you all the way out in the Aleutians now? Uh, let's, let's, let's check it out. I think you may be out. Yeah. Now should I go back up more to get? Or should I just well, I mean, cut across you, here? Well, I mean, whatever you want to do. The passage, the ocean, the oceanic passage at this point is not very long. You go back up if you just want more map coverage. Although remember, it's probably been a while since you uh, stopped at a port. Yeah, I only got 30 days left. Oh, shoot. Mm, you might want to see if, like, maybe you could find the port of Juno. Or, well, no. Yeah, you could at this point just hop over to uh, Risky Land. Which I think I have done. Yeah. Well, why the heck didn't people come this way in the first place? Well, you might want to... You're probably going to need to coil back around. Is there not a port somewhere near here? Oh, maybe there is. I mean, there are, you know, old stories. I wouldn't really know whether or how to verify them of people that got drunk during the winter time when the passage was iced over and walked from Alaska to Russia or vice versa. So I feel like the issue we have here is that the winds are definitely gonna die. They're gonna get. They're gonna get bad. Yeah. They're gonna get slow. Okay. Let's um. Let's go ahead and 
get to our assigned crew button. Now let's at least max out our navigation here. Maybe we'll put I, it at... I was about to say, I don't know that you want to do that because you, you definitely don't want to miss the port. <laughs> yes. Whoops. 90. 10. Oh, that doesn't work. Because it defaults one to combat for some reason. Whoops. I keep doing that. All right, so it's not going to be 80, but it's going to be like 82. And then 82. That's it still puts the guy right. on fighting. Come on, game. Come on, bounce. There's a, there's going to be a magic uh, number here that lets us. Was it 80, though? Because 80. Well, there's still yeah. two guys left. So if we get it right, we should be able to get six and one. So. So you're wondering what. If we get to the right percentage, eighty, maybe eighty-five. What one hundred divided by seven is? You're not getting that math done without a remainder. What? That's what I'm saying. It defaults over to zero. Go back to eighty and. Yeah, but it's twenty. It's, when it's you got a guy the, on combat. Clearly, you, the math works out that the remainder goes to navigation. This is terrible. Oh, well. <laughs> Maybe leave it how you had it. It's a sign. Uh, at least now we have one going guy. five, one, and one. Yeah, we go a little faster if we had six, but... Unfortunately, the game can't math. Maybe we can't math. No, I'm I'm pretty sure that twelve or twelve percent is higher than zero percent and should be the one that gets what's this? That's 